Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So those of you that have never um, tuned into one of my videos before, I'm a seer, so I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm a psychic, I'm a healer and I'm an open channel for the divine. So whatever comes through, and these messages tend to come through, I never fully know what they're fully going to be until I'm in the message. But if you're a twin flame, there's a good chance you've been guided here for that reason, because I'm a twin flame myself and the majority of my messages right now are twin flame related. So I hope you find the answers you're looking for here. I'm not sure what this message is going to be about tonight. I've got a few different decks out here tonight. I'm definitely feeling like Avalon energy. Um, definitely that kind of feeling coming through. And um, this could just be a message for whoever needs it most at this time. I, I mean, I presume it's twin flame related, but let's see. So I'm going to begin my message as I always do. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. Archangel Michael, can I please ask you to my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Can I also request, Archangel Michael, that whoever watches this message online, you surround them, their loved ones, their home and their pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring only clear and concise messages can come through for the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. Okay. <laughs> no stickle. I'm going to clear the energy and then we'll begin. Now, I was, I've been hearing this song previously and I've just heard it again. It's a song by M People. What have you done today to make you feel proud? So this could be a message for someone who is trying to better themselves. They're trying to redeem themselves in some way. They're trying to make themselves proud. They're trying to push themselves to be a better version of themselves. And I also saw a flame with a moth coming towards it and flying away, coming towards it and flying away. So I don't know if somebody felt like you were a flame um, and you they were the moth um, who was going to get some sort of um, burnt by your flame or maybe this was you with this person. Um, so I, I took yesterday off and I, I want to tell you about the day I had. It was There was a, actually an, a very strange moment that happened in the best kind of way. And um, I'll maybe tell you all at the end. I'm going to do the message first. And then I actually got some amazing information on my past lives today. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you all at the end maybe about what's, what happened to me yesterday and this morning. I haven't been doing any personal readings today. And I've got loads of people waiting on a list that I'm going to be working through over the next couple of days. But I have been focusing. I'm, I'm, I've been guided to listen and rest a bit more so. When I say that I'm listening more now to my intuition, I'm writing things down and that's why I'm starting to really develop more about my past lives and more about um, my soul's journey. I already know quite a bit and uh, that was partly to do with yesterday about the amazing coincidence as well or God incidents. Um, but I'll tell you all about that at the end. I'm going to go on with the message and if you're still here at the end to hear what happened, 
I'll, I'll try and remember and, <laughs> and tell you all. So, who are we going to go first? So it's that song, and hey, people, what have you done today to make you feel proud? So somebody is trying to do something to make them feel proud of themselves. They're trying to redeem themselves in some way. And I'm going to, um, so quick message as well, Tammy for peace. You keep saying in the comments you sent me an email and then when I check my email I have nothing from you, um, nothing in my junk folder. Angela, um, who got the runner-up prize, your parcel is sitting through in my, my lounge ready to be posted in the morning so your gift is going to be on its way to you, your, your runner-up prize. And I'll also be having a few prize giveaways for the Metatron because um, I think I think a couple of you um, got a similar vision to me and it doesn't mean to say the ones who didn't get the same vision to me, you weren't connected, it just means um, you know that we were obviously in a different a different wavelength with regards to our gifts and things. Anyone who does the Metatron, um, connecting with Metatron video and you get something completely different then that's okay because that just means that's the way you connected with Metatron. So, um, so I will um, put some posts out about the gifts for those people for that as well. So, let me see. Oh, you really is a prize giveaway month for me. Can I get um, some overall energy, please? Wow. Four of Wands, first card out. <laughs> okay. So this is to do with the Divine Union. King of Swords. Somebody could have ear in their chart, but this is just telling me this person is getting ready to communicate something. And I'm looking at that, that sword there in their hand. Um, the sword of truth, wanting to bring truth and justice to a situation. I'm hearing that song now from Dirty Dancing. Um, I heard that you you took my heart, but I couldn't do it. But now I'm back to let you know. I can really shake them down. Do you love me? Do you love me? It's a scene where Jennifer, um, where Jennifer V carries a watermelon into that place. It's a song from that. Okay, <laughs> justice. So the King of Swords followed by justice can mean um, something legal. It can, that can be a lawyer, that can be a court case, that can be an official person like a, a detective or something like that. Let me just clarify. King of Swords and Justice. Can you clarify the King of Swords and Justice, please? King of Swords and Justice. Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. So this is about a divine union for sure. This could be about an inheritance of some kind, a divine inheritance, but this could just be this person now wants to build a life with you and they feel that something from the past was unjust. Give me a bit more clarity, please. Star. Yeah, this person, Ten of Pentacles and the Star, this person wants, they want another thing with you. This person wants, I'm just, I'm just getting whatever. This person wants to build a life with you. This person does not want to spend another day away from you. And I'm not sure what happened here in the past. So I'm getting a bit of ascension symptoms today. I get a bit of the sneezes. I actually sneezed like 10 times in a row earlier. My daughter was like, what was wrong with you, mum? And I was just like a really loud sneezes as well. Page of Pentacles. So I asked what happened in the past. Page of Pentacles, and King of Wands and Ten of Wands. So this person could have either been burdened by a child. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean they could have burdened by 
having a child with someone else. So I'm not saying the child was a burden before anyone gets, gets angry at me. I'm saying this person could have been burdened by having a child with another connection. Or this person has been heavily burdened with the fact they didn't take action on a new beginning with you when they had a chance. Um, because this person, I this person may be burdened now because either they didn't give you an offer of a off, or they didn't give you an offer of commitment in the past. Eight of Wands. So, if there's been stuck energy here, not anymore. If there's been a lot of stuck energy here, I feel something, there's some sort of movement here. The sort of cogs are becoming unstuck. Tell me more about this person, please. Yeah. Knight of Wands, this person is ready to take action now. They're ready to communicate with you. <laughs> Ace of Cups and the Empress. I only have eyes for you. I only have eyes for you, but do you only have eyes for me? Will you take a leap of faith with me? Exactly. Will you take a leap of faith with me? We have some we have some powerful mission together, some spiritual mission together here to fulfill. And I'll find out more about that. Yeah. This is some sort of mission that's possibly from past lives. And which will actually be a nice way to end this message because um, of the past life information I got through today. But this is, this could be, this is why it's so important to meditate and connect with your higher self. And I've got a higher self here deck. So let's find out what your higher selves want you to know. It's so important to meditate and find out more about your past lives because then it will make you understand more about your mission in this life and what you're supposed to be doing. And I feel there's a person here who is now understanding that not only is this a powerful love, Ace of Cups, but this is also some sort of spiritual um, union that is destined to be because there is some sort of um, divine mission together as well so i'm going to put a, i'm going to get a hair clip because the side of my hair is annoying me it keeps on sliding from behind my hair let me see that's better so let me see here page of cups in the bottom so this person is coming in with a new kind of um emotional attitude yeah knight of coins this person has a serious offer for you and I mean, they're coming in with the Ace of Cups, so they do want to give this cup of love to you, Queen of Wands. So we have the King of Queen of Wands out here. So you're definitely a very magical, um, divine couple, very fun, very playful, very adventurous. There's definitely the Ten of Swords is here, though. So there's definitely been something, Nine of Wands, um, that has left this person quite stressed, depleted feeling like they're on a treadmill and getting nowhere it could have been let me see why was this person why was this person in the nine of wands why was this masculine in the nine of wands why was this masculine in the nine of wands <laughs> this person um this person basically walked away from a new beginning with you they walked away this is this person missed an opportunity with you in the past because they walked away from you they walked away from you. They never told you how they truly felt. And it's her biggest regret. They never told you how they truly felt. And I'll, I'll call it the main signs I see at the moment. Aries, Taurus. Aries, Taurus, Cancer. Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Leo and Aquarius are the main signs that have come out right now. Um... I would say Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius and Cancer are the main signs. Um, so this person, yeah, they walked away from a new beginning with you. They were they were given some chance they, they were given an offer of their nine of cups. 
and they chose the four of clubs they chose to ignore their intuition they chose to walk away from this connection instead and that's why capricorn energy with the devil they they walked away from you because of they were in some sort of devil energy Tell me more about this um, devil energy. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Death card. So this person could have been torn between the devil and the deep blue sea. Literally. But something has had come to a complete end here. And I suspect it's with this Queen of Swords. Because the Queen of Cups came out upright. So the and the Queen of Swords upright for me with another corroborating card can just be karmic. So I feel there's been an ending with the Queen of Swords because the Queen of Swords came out with the Death card and the Queen of Cups came out first. So there was something here, this person was torn between the woman he loves and the woman. Yeah, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. This person was torn between the woman he loved and the woman he had some sort of, um, what's the world looking for? Not loyalty, but um, not loyalty to, but some sort of um, commitment to or Yeah, this, this is a name for He owed this person something. Whether it was child support, um, alimony payments, whatever this was, he had to, he felt an obligation, that's when he felt an obligation to this Queen of Swords. But there has been some sort of ending occurred here. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Everything is turned on its head. The tower divinely orchestrated events that pushed things to move forward. It's like if someone is, is not for your highest and greatest good and you're supposed to be on some sort of divine mission, the divine will, will make sure things change. Strange. Something could have happened in Leo season. Six of Swords, someone's finding the strength to move on. Knight of Cups, tapping more into their emotions now. Yeah, exactly. This person's using their intuition about who they should be collaborating with. Three of Wands, they're making plans and preparations here to deliver some truth. It's going to bring a lot of happiness and joy to both of you, the Magician. You guys are going to have everything you need here. And I think it's because you have some sort of high, um, um, not, not high ranking, but definitely some sort of position of, some sort of position of power here, some sort of divine purpose together. With the Hierophant being here, you both carry this Hierophant energy. Um, chosen Ones, 144 type of energy, that's what I'm feeling. Um, highly anointed, highly chosen. But the first card out is a Four of Wands. That's the overall energy is Twin Flame Union. And it's two very highly anointed individuals. Yes, Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. A very beautiful life. Happy, successful, joyous, and there's a judgment card. This is some sort of past life connection um, that is very important to the divine for some reason, and I'll find out. Um, 
let's find out. I'm going to use now, I'm using my um, Celtic Goddesses. I cannot describe, I cannot um, pronounce half the actual names of the Goddesses because some of them are, are um, Irish Gaelic or I, I, my grandpa spoke fluent Gaelic, but unfortunately he never taught my mum or us. Um, but And some of it's written in Welsh and things, but I can obviously read the main ones I know. Um, so, and some of them are not that complicated, but let's see. So can I get some um, Celtic goddess energy that's coming through? Because I do feel a lot of um, Avalon. So if you, if you resonate with Avalon, with Merlin and stuff like that, Okay, can I get some more energy please coming through for this connection? Just to get an overall energy before I move on. Well, clear voice, beauty and grace, courage, there's that Leo energy again, goddess of miracles, Goddess of home comforts, goddess of goddess of magic. I felt magic. And I also felt Nine of Pentacles, a luxury lifestyle. Give me one more and that gives me eight cards to go through. And oh, the goddess of happiness. Bottom of the deck is it okay, I'm not sure where that is. Is you it goddess of perseverance? So someone here has definitely persevered. They've done they've done a lot to get themselves to this point, and I feel that's why that song "What Have You Done Today" to make you feel proud is <coughs> because I think this person has definitely worked hard um, on themselves, and now they're really proud of all they've achieved, and I think they want to show you that. So, um, Kaiser, the goddess of courage card number 20 so a lot of strength and courage has probably been shown from both sides here I feel the masculine had a lot to deal with too from their end they've probably been as I say I feel they felt like an obligation to someone which has probably held them up um in a lot of ways as well the Kaliak the goddess of miracles yeah the Kaliak the goddess of miracles so um, look at that beautiful card and actually today I saw a camel and a stag was the spirit animals that came through to me today. Um, and when I was looking, I've got a little crystal ball here as well. And when I was looking at the crystal ball, I saw a camel earlier. So the stag and camel could definitely be significant for someone. Um, and that's, that's card, that is card 26, which breaks down to eight as well. So there's something here about eights and we are in, still in that eight, eight, um, 888 portal energy right now so um, Bridget the goddess of home comforts so I told you there's something here about you guys coming into this beautiful energy nine of pentacles energy the luxury lifestyle now I'm not saying it's all about the materialism I don't I don't believe in that at all um but I do feel that is the energy around this. Like this is two people that are meant to be living a beautiful luxury lifestyle. Now you guys may have struggled for money your entire lives. And in which case this is some kind of reward for all your efforts. And maybe this is your lifetime to get blessings. I do feel this. And I'm not saying like a flashy lifestyle. I'm just talking about home comforts as this card says. Like, you know, where you come home and you've got a cosy home, you don't need to worry about the bills. That to me is a luxury lifestyle because I've never had that kind of, until the this last year or two, when I haven't really had to worry about my bills anymore. That, I feel like I live in great comfort now. And I don't live in a lavish lifestyle. I don't live in a lavish home or anything like that, but I feel I live, I live a comfortable lifestyle. And I feel that synergy that this, um, couple are coming into there as well where they're not going to have to worry anymore about anything they might have a flashy life I mean I, I can't say they're not going to live a flashy life but I just feel beautiful I'm just feeling kind of you know nice big soft home furnishings and a log fire and just comfortable happiness settled energy um 
Latihan, the goddess of magic. Latihan, the goddess of magic. So there's definitely, but I felt magical. I The word magical come through, yeah, when I spoke about you both. So you both carry this beautiful magical energy. And if, if you've got Avalon connections, I'm not surprised. Um, So this is C... Sihach, Sithach, Goddess of the Mind. So it's a good thing the Scottish brogue, we can pronounce our, our CH very well. <laughs> um, so Sithach, the Goddess of the Mind. So definitely you guys have got some sort of powerful telepathic connection, I feel. But there's definitely something here where your minds are very, very powerful. And we've got the clairvoyancy one here as well. So somebody here might also use a crystal ball too. I have not, I, I had not used a crystal ball in this lifetime at all. And I kept getting, um, I keep getting those little niggly feelings to get one. And then I went on to my Amazon, it was last week or the week before, and I noticed it was in my saved items. And I thought, I didn't put that in there. And I took it out. And then I went back in last week and it was there again. So I ended up buying it. So I've been using it and it has actually been really helpful for my intuition. So I never know, I might get some and give them away as gifts too because they have, it has really been helpful. So I know why my guides were pushing me to do that. But um, so it says, it says, I don't know if it's cred or ored. Um, Goddess of Clairvoyance, card number 10. But either way, that's such a pretty card. But you both have some sort of powerful um, mind gifts, telepathic gifts, psychic abilities, but also very clairvoyant. Um, now, clairvoyance is about seeing through the veil, seeing things, seeing images and things. But this person or this couple could definitely have... Um, the gift where they could, you know, they could have clear audience and stuff like that as well. They've got powerful, powerful psychic gifts connected to their mind here. Um, no, I think that's Kleena, the goddess of beauty. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and look at this wonderful card. So you guys can be very connected to nature, very connected to birds and all the the beautiful surrounding nature. I mean, definitely powerful earth guardians, mother nature. I'll, I'll check. I've got my shamanic deck here, so we'll see. And Coventina, the goddess of happiness, card number four. Four could be very significant as well. But I just feel this couple are coming into such a beautiful, a beautiful energy. There's happiness, there's comfort, there's joy. Definitely beautiful magical gifts for you both. And I do get a really strong um, Avalon energy coming through. And I just split the deck on Ragnall, the goddess of gratitude. Oh, so again, gratitude is so important. The attitude of gratitude is the basis of all our, I mean, honestly, when you are a divine being, your gratitude is what brings in more and more and more abundance into your life. And I mean, I cannot tell, I thank, I thank God every morning. I thank God every night, not just God. I thank my ancestors. I thank my spirit guides. I thank the archangels. I just, I honestly, I thank the dragons. I thank, I go through a list of people I thank. And it's just because they've all been a part of my journey. But I'm so thankful for the little things as well. Gratitude is the most important thing. Yeah, especially for your soul. And just as I split the deck, it said, um, Epona, the goddess of the soul. And look at that white horse. White horses have been coming through so strongly lately as well. So if you've been getting a lot of white horse references, um, I'm about to do some artwork about white horses. Um, so there's definitely a strong energy of white, or white horses coming through for the collective right now as well. I'm going to get, let's see what the, let's see, get, let's get some universal guidance for this connection. Let's see what the advice is to bring you both into this beautiful, harmonious energy. Then I'm going to get some cards about what your gifts and stuff might be. But the, I mean, this is a couple of 
couple coming into union, no doubt. With the Four of Wands being the first card out, I have no doubt in my mind that's the union energy. Let's see. Okay. Well, my just touch, my just touch energy. Okay, one more. Give me one more. Thank you. So it says you are the image maker. What do you, what you focus on manifests. What thought pattern do you need to shift? So. I've actually been talking to a lot of people about this lately by email as well. If you are focusing so much on your person and you're focusing so much on the negative stuff with this went on with your person, you're going to continue to manifest the negative stuff with your person. Now, I'm not saying it's easy. I battle with this all the time myself. I just saw 333. I battle with this all the time myself. Um, It's because, you know... <sighs> You can't help but sometimes in those moments of weakness to fall back on past tense. It's just a very human thing. And sometimes I get so annoyed because I'll actually say during my prayers and meditation, <laughs> I wish the human side of me would stop <laughs> stop getting involved because it, it, sometimes it, your, it's your human side that wants to keep on returning to the past and remembering those moments that have hurt you and caused you the most pain. And... Um, it is not easy it's not easy to let go of that but when you start focusing on the fact that there is love with you and your person I know they love me and I love them and we just have to move on from the past because I know we can make it work and for the sake of our divine purpose our divine mission together we need to let the past go and just focus on the love between us and that is when you start to focus on all these moments with your person, when I start to feel myself slipping into the negativity, I remember the moments with my person that filled my heart with joy and love. And as soon as I feel that again, all the negativity goes away. Um, ask Saint Germain to help you out if you if you feel you need to transmute any negativity at all. I called upon Saint Germain recently and I had a beautiful interaction with the the amethyst dragon and it was actually violet flame coming out the dragon and it actually really helped to it helped to cleanse me and release all the negativity so if you need help to cleanse that negative energy call in saint germain um let's see what else came out here so my just touch things are working out in your favor in what ways are you abundant right now so this again is about the gratitude when you focus on the things you're abundant in, I see every day, I'm a, I'm a, I am so abundant with love. I am surrounded with love and I am. I am surrounded by love. I am loved not only by my children, by my good friends, by my twin, but by the divine. I am surrounded in love. I am, an abun I am abundant in love. I am abundant in and all I do, I'm abundant and, you know, I'm financially abundant. I'm not, you know, I'm not Daddy Warbucks for money, but I'm financially abundant. I never have to worry. And this is what you have to start. You have to start telling yourself all these things because that then, when you start, you know, I'm abundant in all I do or I'm, I'm, I'm abundant, just anything you feel you've, you've got in abundance, food, water, love, Anything at all you have in abundance, friendships, that's something to be grateful for. And the more grateful you are for that, I'm grateful for my health, I'm grateful, you know, anything at all you're grateful for. But just whatever you feel that you've got in abundance, focus on that. Because you're, you're manifesting something huge for yourself here, whoever I'm talking to. You're manifesting some huge, um, some huge manifestation coming in for you and your person. Deep, uh, deep inward journeys. You'll be rewarded for the work. How can you alchemize your fears right now? So, this is all about going inwards, and you, you are the universe rewards those who go in and heal from within first. Um. 
and I can't tell you the importance and a lot of you, a lot of you know this already that's watching. If you are still needing your person to fill a void within you, you have not healed. And I know there is moments where we, we do, I mean, we all, we all get lonely, we all get that need for companionship. But if you need someone to fill a void, that is, means that you're not complete on your own. When you want someone to share your happy happiness with, when you want someone to share your happy life with, that is a difference. And I feel this is the universe saying, when you spend time going inward and healing and taking the time to focus on yourself and your own healing journey, you get rewarded for that. So express yourself creatively and start something new today. What creative project do you feel drawn to? Now, I'm always getting a, a kick up the butt for not doing this as well. I get my canvas out, I paint half of it and then I get distracted. And then, so I end up with, I end up with lots of half painted canvases, but I end up, do end up finishing them. But um, being creative is part of our divinity as well. Even if you're just bringing out a drawing pad and drawing on it or writing a poem, whatever you do, it actually boosts your alchemizing abilities and it actually helps to bring that energy between you and your twin into a really nice energy. So doing anything creative is actually part of your, your divine journey as well. So anything at all that you consider to be to, to be to, oh, creative for you, do it. And whoever I'm talking to, you're being called to, to do more in a creative way. What 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 is has no bearing on what will be. What does your ideal life look like and feel like? Now I love this because this is what this is the start of your manifestations. So for example, whatever you're manifesting, when you start to live like your manifestations already here. That is what you're starting, when you start to feel like you're, like for example, if you want your person to, you know, step up and make a formal commitment to you or propose to you or move in with you or something like that, start to live like your person has already made that commitment. Or if you want to, you know, start a business, if you start working certain hours, um, like give yourself so many hours a day to do a certain thing or you know something like that whatever whatever this means to you basically whatever you perfect life looks like start to try and make that the perfect life whether it's going out long walks in the morning with your person coming back you know cooking together start doing that as if you're already doing it with your person whatever it is where it's you know a new business venture um, spending time with your friends start to manifest the life you want by starting to live the life you want just split the deck when you create your own beauty what you want wants you to what do you want to experience and look at all the roses on this card and that's card number one as well so there's something here as well whatever you want from your life whatever you want to experience you can create it you have you have the canvas you have the canvas this is not your practice life decide what you want so there's something here about you creating your own beauty whatever you want wants you to whatever you want wants you to there's something here there's definitely something here about you know your thought pattern is stopping it's like the, everything you want wants you to but for some reason it's not here yet and I think it might be because you um it might be because you're focusing too much on past incidences or something but they're saying you create your own beauty you create your own beauty you create your own life you create everything um and it's it is so true. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some um cards here to see what energy is coming through from okay, the serpent. So that that's definitely shedding old skin, that's transformation. That is that is definitely learning from the past. This is like transformation energy.
the beauty way, seeing the beauty in all things. And that is strange that we've just had you create all your own beauty. So this is this card's all about seeing the beauty in every situation. Yeah. And again, number four. Fours could definitely be significant. Ones, fours, the number eight. But there's definitely something here about this masculine could be starting to just see yeah the holy mountain this is a journey this is a spiritual journey starting to see the beauty and everything this is a divine mission as well the holy mountain divine mission ascension definitely something about a, a powerful divine mission here harvest this is manifestations coming in this is manifestations coming in here well okay tell me more about this couple soul retrieval yeah this this couple are starting to get their past life memories back they're starting to remember the divine plan they're starting to understand their divine plan now. <laughs> the moon. This is all about um, high priest, high priestess energy, intuition, starting to understand the moon cycles affect your energy. Um, when that card comes out, that means that somebody here, whoever this person is or this couple is, they're starting to understand the moon plays a significant role in the energy the energy we carry. Um, the sort of um, the energy signature we have on this planet as well is all connected to the moon. Oops, too many. A couple more, please. The arrow. Everything is completely on target. Everything you're on the right path. Um, this is like shaman energy as well. Focusing focusing on exactly what you want there's something here about creating there's a, i'm just getting powerful manifestors here Magi magicians magicians yes but magic manifestors powerful manifestors for the new earth the child something about seeing the world through childlike wonder now seeing the world through childlike eyes completion yes this is when this, the cycle's been complete. Come full circle. Pack a mama. I was getting that energy from the start. This is definitely anointed ones. Anointed ones who are now about to receive their rewards. This could be for a, a number of you. hunter yes the hunter don't follow other people's path make your own path forge your own path and hunt down everything you want because look the hummingbird in the rainbow happiness and joy forging ahead forging your own path in the world but you're definitely this is a couple who have both been through I feel rough time in their childhoods and their adult life who maybe have done without very little the ghost dance. So definitely powerful, um, powerful spiritual energy coming through as well. So this is all about your their powerful connection to um, the ethereal realms, spirit realm, angelic realms. But this is really the fact they connect with spirit very easily. Um, you know, this is this is two people, as I say, clairvoyant, clairaudient, psychics, but they're very magical as well. Very magical individuals. I get you're both magicians. The vision quest, yeah. The vision quest is about people who have psychic visions, have clear clairvoyance. I am a clairvoyant, but I will, I'm also a seer, so I get, it's my 
gifts, although I'm, I'm extremely grateful for them, they can be complicated because I'm never quite sure if my vision comes in as, um, I'm never quite sure when I see something, is that something I have to relay to my viewers or is it something that's about to happen in the future for me? And sometimes it's something that happens in the future for me and so, and sometimes it's, um, you know, it's, it's very difficult to sometimes to differentiate with, with my gifts um, unless I specifically ask what does my viewers need to know, what does the collective need to know. Um, so I kind of, I deal with visions, images, I hear things, I also see actual, um, I can see moving scenes in front of my, my, my face sometimes, you know, like I can see two people hugging or and it's, so it's very tricky sometimes for me um, to work out what's past life, present day and stuff. But um, I'm getting on top of it, the Rainmaker. So this is this gives me very tribal energy. This couple are very much magical in the sense they can work with the elements and stuff as well. And the Crow, great communicators. And the Eagle seeing things from a higher perspective in the seer. So again, when, when somebody has this, if this couple have seer abilities, we can tend to see through bird's eyes. So, um, which I'll tell you all a wee bit about the end, actually what happened yesterday, but this, a seer tends to be able to see through like falcons, owls, eagles. Um, so this, couple are definitely very magical and the fact I think they can do stuff like that as well. Interesting couple but very very powerful but very very anointed. So this is definitely a message for the 144,000. I'm going to get some zodiac signs before I get, I'm going to get some messages from the higher self of this couple. So, oops, I just let the deck on flow. So, flow is about just going with it and allowing your manifestations to come in. So, I definitely feel that whoever I'm connecting to, you're being told to do that right now, just to to flow and allow your. I'll get some of the signs in a minute. To flow and allow your um manifestations to come in because they are coming in. The union's close as is your manifestation. So just let go and go with the flow. So let's see here. Can I get some messages from the higher self of this twin flame couple? Can you tell me what this, this twin flame couple, the higher self wants them to know at this time about their journey? I've, I've actually, I allow my higher self now to to really um, guide me more than anything else now because your higher self will only ever guide you to your abundant life, to your your truest, your truest love, your highest version of yourself and to your happiness and bliss. So let, let's let's see what this higher self of this couple wants to wants them to know. Can you, the higher self of this couple, please, what it wants them to know at this time. Open your heart, not just a little, all the way and let the love flow in. Yes. Oh, I love this. Open up your heart and let the love flow in. Because this person, they are coming in with a cup of love. And just open your heart and let the love flow in. Oh, I love that card. So it says, a little bit of faith goes a long way. Remember that. A little bit of faith does go a long way. And I know it's hard. But see, when you push in and dig into your faith, it gets you through anything, okay? Someone is in need of your love. Offer it to them. So someone is going to come in and, and basically declare their love for you. But they're going to need you to open your heart and be willing to give them love back. Even if this is someone who may not have been able to give you that in the past. They need your love now. Guilt is a normal feeling. Just breathe in and let it go. 
So this person is definitely struggling with their guilt right now over the past. You have the power to create the life you love. Remember that. So again, this energy of manifesting your perfect life. Whoever I'm speaking to here, you're both manifesting a beautiful life together. A beautiful, happy, comfortable, honestly, so much love and light. You have the power to do it yourselves. So take responsibility for your choices. This is your life. Own it. And remember, we've got the card about this is not a practice run. This is your life. Make a decision. This is two people here who are destined to be together. They've got some sort of powerful past life mission to do together in this lifetime. They may have carried out this mission in other lifetimes and this is them coming back to have another go at it or repeat it or something. But there's something here about a past life mission that they're doing again. Past Some past life um, mission they've had in the past that they're going to re be repeating. Highly anointed, highly chosen, but you've been told to not focus too much in the past. You have, you have a, a life to live here. Speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard out loud and clear. So there's definitely something here about communication as well. <laughs> Give your inner critic a vacation day and be kind to yourself. <laughs> I love that. Don't stop being so self-analytical. Give, I love that. Give your inner critic a vacation day and be kind to yourself. <laughs> That's just awesome. I absolutely love that. So let's, let's get some zodiac signs and I'm going to get um I'm going to get a, a, mes a mes message from your soulmate. I can't believe it. I just shuffled there all these times and that card came out again. <laughs> so <laughs> well. So let me see, I'll get some zodiac signs. I don't think the zodiac signs matter, but I definitely did pick up Cancer, it is Leo Sage. Capricorn Taurus. Let's see. <laughs> Taurus. Taurus. And Taurus, Mercury, and Ninth House. Leo, Sun, and Second House. Aquarius. Oh, yeah, I got Aquarius as well with a star card. Sixth House and Neptune. So somebody could have Aquarius in their sixth house. Gemini, eighth house and Uranus. Aquarius again, third house and the sun. Libra, first house and Saturn. Virgo, moon and eight. Aries, Saturn and two. Again, Virgo, eight, and Saturn. Uh, Aries again, Saturn, and number five. Taurus, Taurus, South Node, and seven. Leo, sixth house, and Venus. And Pisces, tenth house, and Saturn. One more roll. Pisces, 6th house, and Venus. Yep, and that's us back to, we're back to the start. So, Saturn, Saturn, Leo, Pisces, Saturn, Leo, Pisces, Saturn, Leo, Pisces, um, Taurus, Leo, Pisces, Virgo, um, Aquarius, and Gemini and Libra, I think, came through as well. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo and Aries, Taurus, and what did I say? Pisces. So I can't remember all the numbers and things, but um, but that that was the main side that came through. So let me get um, let me get a confession from your soulmate. See what this person wants you to know, and then I'll tell you a bit about what I got up to yesterday. <laughs> okay. 
Anyway, all the details you need from me are underneath this video. Um, my email address, um, different different things about me, how you can buy my oracle cards, which I've not been using the last few nights. <laughs> um, but all that stuff. Um, and there's also details on how you can buy this beautiful jewellery from Otter Spirit. This is rainbow moonstone you can't really see it in this light but it lights up rainbows so it's selenite rainbow moonstone and normal moonstone and they're doing a discount a 20 percent discount for all my viewers you'll find their details in the link below press the link buy the jewelry and put it in your basket if you're called to of course and you'll get 20 percent off just using the voucher code for being one of my viewers and every bracelet you buy, $1 goes to saving the sea otters at Montreal Bay from extinction. So it's a great cause as well. You're helping towards charity and wearing some beautiful bracelets. So it's a win, win, win. So you'll find all the details below um, if you're interested in that. So let's get a message and I'll tell you a bit about what I got up to yesterday. And I won't keep you back for too long. Unspoken. So there is there's so much I want to say to you, but I feel... I feel it's difficult to put everything into words. Just know that you are very important to me. The depth of my love for you goes beyond words. There is no, so much unspoken between us, which I soon will reveal to you. So this, we did see the communication. This person does want to communicate to you and they just know they love you. Okay. New beginnings. Oh my goodness. So I have realised what I was missing all along in my life and that is you. This new, sorry, this new love has given me a fresh perspective and changed who I am completely. There is no going back, only forward now. When I met you, when I met you after that, I never look back. I want to have a, a fresh new start with you. So I, I'm telling you, this person, when we got the full card, I got the urge of this person saying, I want you, do you still want me? I want a new beginning with you. Do you still want a new beginning with me? And I feel that person is definitely sorry. Yeah, they're sorry. So it says, I am sorry for the past. For I'm so sorry. I know I'm saying sorry. Sorry for the pain I have caused you. I am sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. I want to be there to come. I wanted to be there to comfort you. But I was afraid of letting you down again. So I did feel like you've both been through struggles. But instead of this person actually standing up for you or standing next to you in support of you, they actually turned away and did the opposite. They they abandoned you, they walked away from you. So this person is in deep regret um, because they feel they walked away from their new beginning. And remember, I, I said that start this person feels like they walked away from their new beginning and now they want a new beginning. On the bottom of the deck, um, our reunion is imminent and I I am doing what I, I can to be ready for you. I am looking forward. To, I am sorry. <laughs> I am working hard on myself to be a better provider for you. I hear you call for me and I'm coming back to you. This is this is my promise to you that soon we will reunite again. So this person is definitely about to return here for this new beginning and to express an apology and to tell you how sorry they are for abandoning you when you needed them, needing them most, okay? Um, so that this is a powerful reading for someone. There's definitely a lot of universal guidance going on here. Um, ancestors involved, spirit involved. There's so many people um, involved in this. And the camel, by the way, is a spirit animal of new beginnings and fresh beginnings as well, transformation energy. So definitely um, camels can be significant to someone as well from past lives or whatever. But as I say, I do get a lot of like Avalon, um, you know, that sort of energy, magic and Avalon energy coming through. So I don't know who this is for, but I hope I hope it helps. Um, but yesterday, I had such a fun day. I Yesterday, my kids had planned such an amazing day for me, a special day for me. And um, we went we went um, pedal boating on the lake, which, believe me, my legs are paying for today. It was fun, though. The sun, it was 27 degrees. The sun was out. Um, 
we had it with we, we did lots of things but they took me to I love a bird of prey show I am so connected to owls and to I, I love all birds I really do love all birds and but the bird of prey shows with the hawks and the falcons and the owls is my favorite thing but my so my kids planned this now I've been to these bird of prey shows quite a few times and yesterday it was so strange because the the owls all had names Greek mythology names and I was sitting um watching this and the guy who I've never he's just he must be a new falconer there because um he's the first time I've and he was really witty and really knowledgeable and I was really enjoying it. So he had this owl called Artemis and he was releasing the owl and it was kind of flying around and stuff and he was talking about the owl. And it was so strange because then he started talking about someone that I was and um, now it just seemed like the craziest, most magical moment ever because he started talking about an incarnation that I was in past lives. And immediately my soul went zing. It just it felt so nice actually hearing someone talking about one of my incarnations, one of my soul's greatest incarnations. Um, and it just it just made me feel like I was lighting up from the inside out. And just at that, the owl swooped down. <laughs> now, my daughter got this partially on camera. Where she was sitting, she couldn't actually see it happening, but she got very, damn near close to recording it, just a few seconds where she would have seen, but the way she was positioned with her camera, she missed it. But the owl swooped down and I, it wasn't even flapping its wings, it just glided and it and I looked and it was actually coming straight for me. <laughs> but in that moment I had this amazing flashback and I just, the owl actually skimmed right across my shoulder and its wing over my head, messed up my hair and my youngest daughter who was sitting next to me. So it flew right between my daughter and I who were sitting shoulder to shoulder and skim both our heads and it was the most exhilarating feeling ever but in that moment when I saw the owl and every, the audience all gasped because it was flying right for me like <gasps> but I was just so excited I was like yay Artemis and um, it was the, the best moment ever and I, I got a photo of it afterwards because it was just such a beautiful moment and it really triggered a lot of past life memories for me Um, so we did that yesterday I had so much fun and then we went out for dinner last night and took Roxy with us. So we went to a place where um, the dog can get her dinner. They bring out the dog's dinner <laughs> at the same time, which is so fun. Um, so it was just such a great day yesterday. So I just thought I was taking a day off because my kids had planned a special day. And so that's why I wasn't alone last night. But today was amazing as well because I told you I've been digging in a bit more to my past lives and I'm, I can't tell you enough how important it is to spend that time with yourself and um, by yourself like connecting and today I've I've had quite a lot of past life memories about different things and I've had a lot of past life memories about World War Two and today my, my guides gave me a name and it was just a, a random name but I just thought I'm going to I'm going to google it and so it must be someone connected to me because when I googled the name, now this was just a random name, um, and in fact I thought it was a female at first, but it was it was a man with a female sounding name. And when I googled the name, it came up as a pilot who had died during World War Two, and a special it was a certain squadron, and. And when I, I saw that, I actually got chills and I felt really emotional. And it told me about where where he was buried and everything. But what's even crazier is my person, when I first met my person, the first thing they said was, I, when I was younger, I wanted to be a pilot. It just felt natural. My person had a real thing for wanting to fly planes and things and small aircraft. And I think he even had a go at it at some point. And um, it just gave me chills at that point today. So I can't tell you enough, it's so important, so, so important to to find out more about your past lives and it really helps you 
to understand more about who you are in this lifetime. So I just want to share that with you. But let's let's do a little prayer now. That was just what I was up to for the last the last twenty four hours. I hope you've all had a lovely Sunday as well. So thank you, Father, for this time together today. And everything you do for us and for our families. Thank you for your guidance and protection over all our lives. As we all move on with our day or night, wherever we are in the world, would you go ahead of us, dwell within us, shine through us, blessing all those who cross our path. God of hope, would you fill us to overflowing today with all joy and peace by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Thank you all for watching. Take care and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Namaste. Bye now.